Hello there everyone on YouTube, so welcome to another episode of this Gits campaign. Now on the last episode we destroyed the civil war. We finished, there's no more civil war. And now we're gonna recruit a lot of troops and just move in with everything because I want to finish off the Jews. I want to finish the Jews. And first I need to destroy this, uh, this army here and then I need to destroy this one. For that I have my spies nearby, they will be able to do a lot of damage. And this army, plus this army, will do it. Now I don't have any money, so I cannot get these guys away. These are mercenaries, but they're not really that expensive now that I see. Yeah, and these are Nordic ones. This Onager doesn't cost too much. Yeah, that's fine. This hero is providing good stuff to everyone. So everything is going well. Let me end up the turn. And now something happens. Like a new civil war out of the out of the blue, something like that. Or the Western Roman Empire, the class war. <laughs> or the Huns. Please, not the Huns. The elements might attack me, but for now what I want is for the Jutes to be destroyed. That's what I really want. I want to go against the Gusset Rivador and conquer Belgica and just make sure that we are not into trouble against any of these guys. Um, you know, destroying factions as I've said. I need to destroy co entire factions like I just did with the Geet Separatists, with my rebellion, uh, with my civil war. Because that gives me much, much more control over things. My spies will have to do a lot of damage there. And I am getting a lot of money. I am getting a lot of money through the taxes. So I'm just gonna keep up building up. That should be easy. Bastarnians are only a horde. I think this is the only one they have. It's just too many factions. You know, when there's so many factions, you just want to ease things up. You know, get get to a point where there are, there are like 20 known factions, even if so. It also helps out the, the end turn. Alright. So what happened? Population surplus on Skanza. Let's go for that. I can build something. And what should I do? Oh, it's the, about the wood. It's about the timber, guys. I do have that money, so I'm going to wait a little bit on that. Agent exposed. Food shortage on Gothi Skanza. That's, that's interesting. And rank gained Gizur. Dude, where are you? Hi there, dude. He actually gained the rank, but nothing too fancy there. Alright, let me see what can I do actually in terms of actions against these guys. can only hinder the army. If they hinder the army just gets the their movement range, so no. Not for now. Maybe that will actually provide me with some good, you know, with some experience. Yeah, that's, that's right. Failure there. What can you actually do? Just hinder the army? How about the settlement? Do I have anything else? No, I don't. So I'm just gonna wait on this guy. They're not gonna spend too much money there. Um, you dude, you're gonna go over to Alabu. You probably have a lot of good stuff. Hey, you don't. Minus four. Doesn't it give him... No, it should give him... Let me check the general details. It should give him the public order. Local problems. But it's not giving that. Yeah, it's not giving that bonus. Because he can't, you know, he can't be an admiral. He has to be a general. Right, so let me just, you know, replace this guy. Replace that household. With some... Just remove the household there. That's nice. And let's give him to this guy. Recruitment costs. Oh, I already have the recruitment costs. So, okay, hang on. I'm going to use that and abuse that. One, two, three, four, five. 
actually three four right but that was less recruitment costs so these guys don't cost as much I guess so that should be on effect I think so right do I still have anything to build up yeah I can build this into a smithy or something or this into trade jetties I want to develop for money and over here I can undevelop the land get a prime forest let's go for timber production yeah yeah let's go for prime forest right there can I still build something I can't it needs 2000 yeah do you get anything else to build no I don't so this guy let's just move him and keep moving them what's over here what's the, the best way to move over there I don't know it seems like everything is fine let me just go here this guy from Flavum hi there dude you're gonna go here they might attack me but that's actually something that I want to cause and this army oh this army might go here right away yeah these guys are gonna go here so the Fordham is suffering a little bit, but maybe I can go into Force March. Well, actually, this, this guy Force March is terrible. Doesn't Force March anything. Let me go over to Tully Fordham. Hopefully, this won't cause any anything. You know, I think this might cause the Langobards to strike me. Let me get diplomacy. Burgundians, it's deteriorating. Okay, treaties with the Western Roman Empire, yeah, war with the Mauryans, I got it. Yeah, this is improving, this is improving actually with the troops, amazing. With these guys it's improving, let me see. No, when they're friendly they will get it. They're actually improving, so this is improving, maybe they will take trade agreement. No, they won't. No problem, no problem guys, no problem. Everything is fine. I could get some furs here. Instead of these goat barns. Does give me some army recruitment. But that's on level 4. Look at that. That's on level 4. Instead of these market stalls. Do I have any any furs? Lime maker? No. Not really. This gives me Nordic ex warriors. That's nice. Right, 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 right. Viking Raider cavalry. <laughs> gives me anything. This actually gives really good um, to all regions. This is good. Right for chosen warriors. That's the shift and skip. Perfect. I need timber. So that's why I kind of need the timber there. I could get some more units, but no, I'm just going to save the money. That's that's it. Let me check the trade. Minus four there. How about if I get my really high? I'll get four thousand instead of two thousand instead of eight hundred. Right, there's no problem. That's exactly what I want. Exactly what I want. After this, I'll get this guy some. Actually, can I get a new army? No race forces. Yes, I can. I can get Cigar here. He's a good commander. He has some zero construction costs. Yeah, he's actually a good one. So I can get this guy as raising an army. Restate the legacy. Yeah, I can restate this. Recruit. That's it. Cigar can go here. And he can get, instead of this, he can get public order. Instead of this campaign spotting, he can get recruitment costs. And over here he can more, he get morale. That's it. That means that this province will be evened up properly. And I wasted that money, that's nice. How many, where's the number of stuff that I can get? Number of armies can get up to eight. That's good. 
I like one governor. Where, where do I like the governor? Hang on. Family? Can you get the fourth one? No, actually not. Can anyone go into tribal chief? Yeah, they can. Gizur and that other Gizur dude. This guy gives me... He's actually a governor. So it's good that he's getting public order instead of this. This other dude, what's Gizur? He's a governor. This guy can go into tribal chief or can go into judge. Let's go into judge. Elder? Who can go there? Birgir. It should, for construction costs. Who else? Who can go into companion? This guy? Let's go into companion. That's it. Can anyone go into tribal chief? No. They can, but I don't want that. Yep. I don't want that. That's a nice one. Now, I have some actions that I need. This guy needs to go and seek a wife. This darling needs to go and arrange marriage. With whom? Oh, who's the good guy? This is a good loyal one. This is uh, already married. Okay, that's the only target, so let me go and marry him. Yeah, that's it. Gonna even up a little bit on the balance here. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Cool. So far, so good. Let me end up the turn. Should I? Or should I move this guy? Stop moving him there here. I don't think I will have enough money for that desolate place. So for now, that's not gonna happen. Let me just end up the turn. Oh, this guy has an unassigned skill. He is a governor, so I can get more food. I can get less corruption. I think this is a good one. And I can get less construction costs. That's exactly what I want. Good. Good. I don't know if it immediately attached it. But... No, it didn't. Look at that. Now we have less... Uh, we have more money there. Left over. Let's go in and turn. Not a lot of battles going on, guys. But, you know, it's... It's... It's what it is, you know. The game also has this spot. Oh boy. Right now it's interesting because my Ostrogoth's campaign is going really badly. There's a lot of battles, there's a lot of issues with the hunt. And this campaign is going pretty well. But not on the diplomacy, but overall. I have enough armies to defend myself. So far everything seems to be going, seems to be going fine. The Jews are going to try to attack me. If they're taking so long. Maybe not, they're actually going away. But I... I don't want them to go away. I'll have to chase their armies. Because I want to destroy their armies. That's the purpose of this. You know, destroy their armies, go into Augusta Trevoron and kill them all. That's the idea. That's where I'm gonna need my uh, my spies now. I'm gonna have to spend that money, um, just making sure that they won't do anything. Bastarnians are just moving out on to good this area. If I had my fleet, I would, could probably attack them and kill them, you know, finish them off. But I don't know. Sometimes it feels it feels like okay, that's a good option to destroy one faction, and then two f other factions attack you, and you have no way to destroy them. You know, it's just yeah, I got rid of one and got two other problems. Sometimes it happens. Ah, the end turns. There's so many factions. So many factions, guys. Okay, success. Right, what happened? To see if he was successful. Term of office, term of office. Political ob obstruction. Yeah, decree. I want that. Take her hand. Right, this one got it as well. Everything that I wanted to happen, happened. That's good. Get an agent, some ranks gained, that's nice, that's what I want. Right, where are my troops? Where actually are their 
the forces. Hi there. I want to hinder this army first. Critical success. Very nice. This guy is not going anywhere. Can I? Can my armies actually move anywhere closer? They can. They can move here. That's actually where I want to go. I um, think I'm going to move on this area. Not going to take Augusta Trevoron because I want him to try and come against me. That's the idea there, at least. This guy is going to go over here. Just going to defend. Nice. Even though he has the best troops, it doesn't matter. Uh, everyone here can move. Yeah, they can. Let's just go through this area or through this area. I think better is to go through this area. There's a marsh. You have further orders? And this guy, I could actually besiege it, but I don't like that idea. Let me just move here. On the move, lads. That's it. This guy, he's hindered, so he can't move. Yeah, that's it. This guy can get some better stuff. Hey, public order. That's nice. Right, what can I get him? Infiltrate, deceive. I don't like that. Rune provisions and scout ahead. Let's get two abilities. That's it. Let's go. No, because I kind of need those abilities. This is defending. This is going fine. Okay, I kind of need to build up some stuff. This will give me more sanitation, which I don't need, and more food, which I also don't need. So, no. I'm going to go for trade. Because I need that money. Yep, no fishing, trade. Trade gives me a lot actually. It does give me some road development, which is also nice. This guy managed to get some new skills. Morale, that's okay. He's actually a good one for the infantry commander. So let's go for that. Could get more authority there. More morale, huh? Nah, let me just go standard like this. Still have some money for some units, so one extra Nordic Hunter, one of these, and one Nordic Levy. Yeah, that's nice. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, huh, guys? Not having too much trouble with the happiness. So I guess I can actually go higher here. Yeah, 3000 in income. Then I'll turn it down a little bit. Turn it down, notch it a little bit. Yeah, that's it. So, thank you guys for watching. This will be the end of this episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!